Okay, guys, I hope that uh, we are live. I hope that we are live. So I'm going to wait, see if uh, we get anybody uh, on this live stream here, guys. But um, just going to wait and see what's going on, how many people might come in. But, uh, but we are definitely live and uh, just going to hold out here for a little bit. If you guys can hear me, if everything's A-OK, -okay, if it's all live, actually what I might do is I might just test the live thing myself on my own channel here just to see whether or not I got... Okay, all right, all right, all right. So are you guys hearing me good? Can you all hear me? Anyone that's out there? <laughs> I Hopefully you, you're able to hear. Yeah, okay, okay, good, good, good. All right. Okay, awesome, awesome. So guys, what I'm doing this live stream for, uh, most of you probably know that right now the world is in a major chaotic event. I mean, just on Friday, we were reporting in our coffee chat that, hey, we could see something like a black swan. Well, this isn't quite a black swan because it was anticipated, but we did talk about the war that could happen with Iran and Israel, and guys, it is absolutely on and of course, what's happening, we're seeing a major, major reaction in these markets. And just this morning in my Saturday Q&A, and when I was saying, is this really a bloodbath? Guys, what we're watching is a market reaction to global events. And we have seen this in the past. This is exactly what happened when Judy and I got in. But guys, just setting aside the crypto right now, aside... Look, there are people right now that are going to be impacted in the world on a global level with result of this event. Some people's lives are going to be changed and forever, probably within the next 24 hours. Some people may not be on this earth within the next 24 hours due to what's going on. And so we really have to be conscientious about that. Now, guys, this is what I want to get out there and say, listen, go out there if you haven't yet done it get your gas, fill up your tanks in the cars. If you got two cars, both of them get up. If you have to get up out of bed to go do it, do it. Because what you're going to see is a knee-jerk price reaction in the cost of these fossil fuels like you haven't seen. But beyond that, just having that, if you need anything in the house, go get that. Hey, if you got a little bit of cash that you can pull out of your bank machine and have that sitting at home, just go do it. If you have not done it yet, just get those things done ASAP and right away. Now, beyond that, what we're witnessing right here in these markets is something like this is exactly what a capitulation event would look like. Guys, who genuinely is out there selling their XRP at these prices? I, you know, maybe the weak hands, but I don't think too, too many, but we're seeing a major, major drop, not just in XRP, of course, but digital assets across the board. The stock markets, of course, as we know, are closed during the weekend. But what we are expecting is to see on Monday, it, it, we really have to wait and see what happens. But right now, Iran is out there sending an, a drone attack on Israel, basically trying to find all the holes they can in the Iron Dome. You got the UK and France joining the party on Israel's defense. Biden is expected to come out later today doing the same thing. Guys, we are literally witnessing a major global event. And why? Because this could drag the world into a global conflict. We all know it. We all know this is a powder cake. And in some ways, guys, it almost looks like it was absolutely staged to go down this way. But needless to say, this is where we are. And I wanted to get out there and do a live stream because, guys, I want you to be safe. I want you to be ready. I want you to be prepared, you know, for what you need at home, for your, for your spouses, for your children, for whatever your situation is, wherever you are in the wide world, now is a time to really be paying attention. Now, with respect to these digital assets, I genuinely believe that what we're witnessing here is one of these capitulation events. Now, nobody would have ever guessed that during that whole big deal like this down there when we were having that whole thing, that that was going to result in a major run. Guys, war, like it or not, is big time profitable. A lot of people said, oh, it's going to, yes, the first initial reactions, we will see some type of a big collapse. But I do believe you watch and see what goes on from there because this is just the excuse that they need to turn the printing presses on like crazy and look at all of our sons and daughters that might be sent into this global conflict should it genuinely escalate into something that blows out of control. 
We've watched this stuff happen in the past. Look what went down with the two Gulf Wars and all that kind of stuff and everything like that. This is just a recipe for absolute disaster. We got to get out there and pray for people on both sides. Look, there are innocent people on both sides of this fence that are going to be impacted in a significant way. And we just cannot discount that. Oh, well, it's not my backyard, guys. It is in our backyard. This world is a whole lot smaller than it ever was. And I want to throw that out there right now. So, guys, yep, we have been in an internet war for a long time. Yep, of course, XRP. William Leather saying XRP is down. No kidding, the whole markets are down. If the stock markets were open right now, you would watch them be tanking. Guys, and for me, by the way, look, it's in these opportunities. This is how Judy and I, and I, I looked at it as like, look, where do I see these things going long term when the dust settles and the future is actually written, I see them way up there. So for me, look, it's a buying opportunity. You go out there, you make up your own mind. That is exactly what we have taken it as. And we have gotten our positions. We've contacted our brokers to do what we can do. Now, not everybody is in that position. So the first thing, definitely the very first thing you want is to get some cash into the house, get some gas into your tanks, get your fridge filled with groceries, get the things that you need that if you had to do it, you could hunker down for at least one, two, maybe three weeks. That's your first priority right there is your home, your family, your security. Beyond that, Look, if you're in a position and you're really looking at these markets and you're looking at getting an entry point, guys, this is where they are. It's in crisis mode that these entry points present themselves and you have to adjudicate your own risk tolerance, excuse me, when it comes to that. But the point of this live stream is to really just say, hey, look, we have to be top of mind, just as sharp, as sharp as tax can be so that we can get out there and have our families prepared and ready. And guys, one thing to not neglect, get spiritually prepared. I know not everyone is going to subscribe to that, but I'll tell you what, just having that peace of mind, that constitution of the spirit, that kind of stuff really makes a difference to weather major storms. It has huge, huge impacts in how well you'll navigate on times of great uncertainty. That is for sure. And that's what the world is seeing right now. We're seeing vol volatility in all these markets. We're at the very preposis of a total financial collapse with a lot of these banks. And we've had the, you know, the, even the Federal Reserve came out and said that, you know, some of these medium and, and uh, smaller banks are at big, big time risk and all that kind of stuff. We're watching it happen with inflation all around the wide world, whether you're in Australia, you're in the UK, whether you're in Germany, France, Spain, Ireland, all the in the Middle East for sure right now, people are feeling a great level of instability. I mean, we just saw that, look, how many tens of millions of households right here in the United States can't even afford to pay their electric bills. That is obscene. And yet this is where the world is. So we're seeing this volatility in every facet of our, you know, society, you know, especially, you know, when it comes to our, our marketplaces, our food security, you know, all that kind of stuff. And of course the markets are seeing it as well. And guys, I'll tell you what these, this, what's going on right now within the next 24 to 48 hours can really set the tone. And we could literally before the end of this weekend be in a global conflict and we need to pray. We need to get down. And if you believe in, and you lift up your heart before heaven and just pray that God will intervene and prevent that because the innocent people, you know, we're not talking about all the saber. Do you think these politicians, they're the ones that pay? No, guys, it's our sons and daughters. They're the lives that get sent over there to fight these conflicts. What about the innocent people that are sitting there on both sides of this fence, you know, having to suffer through that war, go without food, you know, possibly being, you know, uh, like we just saw abducted, perhaps even molested, non, and on, and on that goes with that on both sides. I'm not taking a side here, guys, other than, hey, there is only one race right there. There's the human race and the politics. We got to put it aside. But you know what? We've got to believe for peace. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Look, I pray for the peace of Tehran in that aspect as well. We have just got to be out there praying for peace. Now, I hope that that, you know, makes a difference for some people. Guys, I don't know, but I, one thing I do know is this is a bad situation. And, and that's what, now, guys, if you want to throw some stuff out there, well, you know, um, 
I did not tell anyone to get gas because of the eclipse. So, JJ, that is a total falsehood. You show me one video where I said that. I'd like to see it um, because we didn't say that. What I've always said from way back, anybody that's been watching my channel is, hey, guys, it pays to be prepared. Look, we all have car insurance, don't we? But we have it thinking, hoping, and praying we don't ever have to use it, do we? Well, hey, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a little food insurance and that kind of ignorant style comments in a crisis situation shows just how desensitized and attached some people can be for the suffering of others. So sorry, JJ, I just don't buy it. That really kind of annoyed me, actually. You know, so uh, that's the facts, Jack. Now, um, what do we got there? Ali Khan says, hello, everyone out there. Hoping each and one of, every one of you are doing great and safe in whichever part of the world it is. Be safe, guys. Take it easy. Love and God bless you all. He certainly does. That's for sure. Um, you know, we got to have a balanced perspective. James, you're absolutely right. You know, we absolutely have to have, to have that. And it doesn't matter where in the world we are. If you think that just because you're not in the center of conflict, that somehow this conflict is not going to touch you, then you are living in literally under a stone. Because these conflicts, although they may not happen on our native soil, the pain that goes with them, it, it's like a, a ripple effect, pardon the pun, that literally flies around the wide world. And we all feel a measure of that pain. I'm going to tell you right now, because of some of the conflicts that we fought over the last few decades, people are losing jobs because of that today, because of how the, the, the economic, you know, reverberations of that went around the wide world. And that's kind of how I look at that guys is that, look, you have got to see it through that lens. We are our brother's keeper. Look, we are, we are a human family and it's enough is enough. Have you not had enough has have not enough of our sons and daughters literally fought and died. Now, look, I do believe there's a time for war and there is a time for peace, but these kind of events, they look like they're just chess moves on a chessboard that these global politicians have put into play. That's exactly what it feels like. I mean, we have watched the marshalling up and the ratcheting up and the on and on and on with these conflicts, the one going over there with Ukraine and Russia, this one with Iran and Israel, and we have seen it. And it is literally like in lockstep. And isn't it amazing the timing that comes down when it comes down to these things? Now, look, the Bible is not silent on this. We're literally watching prophecy come to pass like right before our very eyes. You just read Psalms 83 and go out and research and google about the psalms 83 war you are literally practically watching it right before your very eyes and that's how it goes down guys do you think it's you and i that make these decisions not on your life it's all of these politicians playing these chess games way up high but who are the who are the pawns well that's us that's you and i we get to be the our children get to be the pawns you know, I have no issue about someone going out there and defending the freedom and the liberty and the and the security of their nation. I get that. But guys, what's going on here is a dog and pony show. And when we saw that big, huge deal where, you know, I think it was Hamas, whatever, coming to Israel, and they knew about it. Don't kid yourself. You're talking about one of the most protective watch borders in the entirety of the globe. And yet for seven hours, no one came to anything. Come on. I don't believe that, guys. I think it was allowed, and I absolutely believe it was used in such a way to allow for a political agenda to go forward. Now, that's how I look at it. That is how I look at it. You pick up your own take on that, but I'm telling you guys, people are really going to suffer, I'll tell you what. Amen. I've been to Dubai, Ali. I've been to Dubai. Yep, and you're right, TK. Absolutely bang on. You have got central banks around the wide world. They are salivating with this news right now because that's a, they will use every excuse they can to turn on the printing presses. Don't you know it? And that's what I believe is really going down here. I think that's what's behind this whole push. Guys, they need an out. They need an out and they need a way to literally get these printing presses going. No, people will say, oh, nobody wants war. Oh, really? I'll tell you what, there's an entire industry out there that is loving it. 
Oh my goodness, they're just absolutely dancing with glee. Why? The military industrial complex is going to be enriched in ways that most people can't even fathom should this lead to a global conflict. That's why. And guess who's behind a lot of that? Well, you got it, guys. It's a lot of these big time central bankers that have been funding the whole deal. Now, hey, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, they don't want to take that opinion. Hey, that's fine. You go have your own opinion. That is my opinion. Point and simple. That's my opinion on it. It's not sprayed in fear. It's nothing like that, guys. My heart breaks for the pain that is going on both, you know, on both sides of this fence. The the people that are really going to suffer here, I don't believe it's going to be the elites and all these big time politicians in both of these countries. Now, you know, there is a time to fight. Bible says that there is a time to fight. There's a time for war and there is a time for peace. That's what it says in Ecclesiastes, and I absolutely believe that. There is a time for that. But guys, I'm, I believe that with this could be a completely avoided. You know, should people really want it? Do they really want peace? That's the question you have to ask, you know, and, and, and I wonder if they really do want it. Well, anyway, that's on that. Guys, I came out there to tell you that this will impact us in a big way in my estimation. You watch and see what the pumps are going to do. You know, the price of gas, you watch your, you know, your price of power and people are struggling to pay that now. You watch the cost of everything. So if you can go out there, I don't care if you have to get out of bed to do this, guys, get out there, go fill up your your cars go fill up your cars with gas you know keep maybe a can of gas at home as well go out there get a few of the extra things you need it does not hurt you to be a little bit more insulated and prepared should that crisis come and that's way and get a little cash i'm not saying go to the bank and take all of your money out i'm not saying that but it doesn't hurt to have maybe a you know a thousand bucks sitting at home whatever you need you know just to kind of make it through a couple weeks should you know we see a blackout which they've been calling for a long time and no access to utilizing those systems so that you know you can go out there and transact right because though that's going to be the narrative and we know that these countries around the wide world are definitely out there and doing these cyber attacks so you just want to insulate yourself from that so you know now john john says black swan event well black swan event usually is something that nobody was expecting now i think a lot of people were you know, kind of guessing that something was in the works. I know on Friday, go watch Friday's coffee chat that we did. We talked about this very possibility on Friday and we were even saying it would not surprise. I said, it wouldn't surprise us if we didn't see something in the week and boy and behold, bam, here we are in a big way. And would you want to be living in that, you know, over there in the Middle East right now with that, you know, with all that instability and you've already got, I, I understand that Lebanon is involved, Syria is involved, Iran is involved, of course, Israel is involved. Now you got the UK and France and Biden is coming on TV later on today to pledge the United States support. It just feels like it's ratcheting up to become something major and global. So, AJB, your most most appreciate it there man most appreciate it yeah well guys i sure hope i wanted to get out there i didn't want it to be a long one and i didn't want it to get into a little bit of rant there you know sometimes you know we're all human beings right some and we and we all have some buttons out there and the only buttons that really that get pushed for me guys are you know callousness and and just you know not that desensitized feeling of oh well yeah you said that who cares People are going to suffer. People are really going to get hurt. Some are probably going to, you know, people that were living in and sleeping in their beds last night may not be alive to sleep in their beds tonight. So that's something you got to think about. And although we don't see that impact, that impact is there. You know, this is not some kind of like, you know, Call of Duty video game, right? Where you can just respawn and keep on going. No, these people, some people are genuinely going to suffer. And so, you know, my reaction there to comment that was earlier on with jj that's why that's why because you know my heart really does ache for these people i'm going to get off judy and i are going to spend some time in prayer for sure just praying that the holy spirit would intervene that god's will would be done in this circumstance that you know there would be there would be grace there'd be grace we need mercy we need mercy this world really needs mercy i remember there was a song a way back when it was said what the world needs now is love sweet love not just for some but for everyone. And the scripture, at least the faith I believe, says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish. 
and have everlasting life. It said, for God didn't send him into the world, his son into the world, to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. You see, God's heart towards this world is not to crush it, break it, destroy it, all this and that. That is not the heart of God. Do you think God wants all this going on now? Absolutely no way. I, don't, I do not believe it, not for a second. That's not the heart of who he is, but that's how mankind is. And we have to really think about that at the, in the long, in the long scream of studies, uh, in the grand scheme of things. And so I just, I wanted to get out there, share with you guys, look, we're seeing a big time reaction in this market indicative of this global instability. And so guys, I just want you to get out there and, uh, and, and take care, be blessed. So anyway, guys, I got my phones ringing off the hook here. I'm just going to set that on silent. Sorry about that. I got, I got on it so fast that, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even know that my phone was on, but I really, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for God's grace and mercy in the situation. And I just pray for wisdom in, in everything that you're doing. And so really appreciate you. Every last one of you from around the wide world, no matter where you lay your head, may you lay it in peace tonight. That's my prayer for you. So guys, I sure hope you're having a good one. And, uh, and so until later on, um, we'll see you tomorrow for Sugar on Sunday. I hope you got my heart here and the message. Just get out there and be ready for whatever can happen. And if you do have an opportunity to really benefit from what's happening in this marketplace right now, absolutely fantastic. Those are the op These are the opportunities, guys. That's the way I look at it. You go out there, do your own due diligence and research, and... Uh, you know, and, uh, and, and just be blessed. Just be blessed. Know that I love you. I do love you. I do care about you. I don't know you all by first name. Don't even know what everyone looks like, but I know this much. You're, you're somebody that God made on purpose and certainly he made for a purpose that much. I believe, and you have value, you have value. And, and I just hate to see stuff like this go down and I don't want to see you hurt. So anyway, guys, I thought I'd get that out there. Really, really love you and look forward to hearing and talking to everybody tomorrow. All right. So take care and God bless.